sisters hi youtube it's chi chi again from simple chic and today's video is going to be a collective haul of sorts it's all the items i've picked up from summer sales but before we get into it if you love lookbooks and hauls then please consider hitting the subscribe button below if you're not already make sure you follow me on instagram for daily style inspiration and of course of course check out my blog for outfit photos shopping tips tricks and guides as well as check me out on snapchat for all of the behind the scenes action so um if you watched my june unboxing for the pop sugar must have box um you would have seen that i was talking about sarongs if you haven't watched that video i definitely have it linked below but anyway so it was kind of coincidental that um a couple of days later i was actually introduced to a company called one world sarongs and they kindly sent me five yes y'all five sarongs to try out my favorite part of it was that they actually have a section just for plus size sarongs which I think is absolutely awesome. So I'm gonna share with you a couple of the sarongs. So the first one is this beautiful like purple and blue tie dye. And what's really cool about this is when you get it, you know, it comes of course with their tag, One World Sarongs, with a cute little picture. And then it actually has like a infographic, I think that's what they call these, showing you how to tie like an, um, a sarong. The next piece that I got is also this um, brown colored one. Okay, and this one is brown and blue. And then the final piece, because I can, you know, because you can never say no to basics that I picked up is this black, all black sarong. And I just want to say a quick thank you to them. And if you guys are interested in um, getting a discount on the sprongs, then I will leave a coupon code in the description bar. So make sure you get check it out and make sure you you check out One World Sarong. There will be a direct link in the description bar below. Okay, so this haul is kind of bleh, but I'm gonna try my best to make it work. All right, so the first, um, I guess I'm gonna start with accessories. If you're following me on Snapchat, I already snapped about this. I was so stoked when I found this, when I found this. So this would be, the, this would be this large um, woven faux leather, large woven faux leather clutch from Nima Marcus. I actually scored this from last call for only $18. It comes in red, the brown color that I also picked up. I think it also comes in gray and one other color. I'm tempted to get it in gray, but what I need is more of like a light cream, like white color. So I may pass on the gray. However, these for $18, I mean, the quality is beyond. It's a substantial leather. What I like about the, you know, the woven texture is that it adds a little bit of interest, so it's not just a basic, you know, I don't know what they call these type of clutches, like basic pouch style clutch. You know, it, it, there's something about this fun. Also, if you're a bigger girl like me, I tend to like bigger bags just because it balances out my proportion. This is a very, um, this is a nice size, so it works if you're a bigger girl. And on the inside, all you see is it has two, um, two pouches here for like, I guess, cell phone keys. And then it also has another zipper in here, you know, for, I guess, your valuables. So again, for $18, this was such a score. And that's one of the reasons why you should follow me on Snapchat because I always share my finds. Just saying. Because I have been eyeing this set from Bobble Bar for such a long time. Bobble Bar has the cutest packaging. No, it's not sponsored. Um, but I picked up a set that I was had been eyeing for a while. But what happened was I went on location to shoot a project in DC and not only did I get my cars towed, I also lost like a pouch that I um, had all my jewelry in. It was actually the bubble bar pouch. 
but I can tell you what the names of this. So this this is the Gold Mary. So the set, the piece that I actually lost was the Gold Mary Lynx bracelet. So this is the chevron cuff right here, and can I? Yeah, you won't see it. Chevron cuff right here. Of course, you won't be able to see it. And this is the lather cuff right here. Okay. Um, so, and as a parting gift, they actually gave me the chance to pick out something else. And I picked out this dainty necklace that has the le letter A on it. My son's name's Alex, so of course now I can wear his name close to my heart. This is costume jewelry. It's not like gold or anything. However, it's, you know, higher grade costume jewelry. You can wear this for a lot longer than you can wear Forever 21 jewelry without it going bad. Yes, yeah, so definitely if you've never tried Bobble Bar, I will leave a link down below for Bobble Bar and you can check out. They have such gorgeous pieces. Yeah, the next pair of shoes are from Steve Madden. Is that even right side up? Yeah, from Steve Madden. And I picked up these. I've been seeing them and looking at them and eyeing them and eating them. So I figured when I, I, I actually went to Macy's to return some things. And what did I find? These babies in my size. If you're following me on Snap or even on my Instagram, you know I've been obsessing over chunky block heels because they are so plus size friendly, okay? Of course, they don't have a platform. This new shoe trend, like, I don't even know if I would like this with a platform. I think I'm kind of over platforms, but I don't know. Somebody should, like, invent a way to make heels not hurt. Like, do that and you will never have to pay a bill in your life. Oh my god you would never have to care about paying a bill in your life let me change that okay so anyways I picked up these up in a size 11 they are from Steve Madden Steve Madden shoes in my opinion tend to run a little bit small so these fit it seems to be snug around the toe area. I think I'm very partial to like mohair things because they just add like texture to whatever piece they're on and they make them look way more expensive than they actually are. So yes, I'm here for the leopard and for the mohair. If you love leopard, comment down below leopard lover. I will link this definitely down below if you're interested in it. Is this bag? from Zara. I saw this in somebody's haul, one of the UK bloggers or vloggers haul. If it wasn't Shirley, it was Patricia or maybe Beauty Crush. No, I don't think it was Beauty Crush. One of them, okay? And I've seen this since then. I was like, I'm gonna cop this during the Zara sale. If, you're, if you didn't know, Zara, at least the last time I checked, is still having their sale and they drop in prices even more because I originally placed an order for these for $25 and when I went back to order something else that will be in a fall haul and possibly a back to school lookbook if you guys request it, um, I saw that these had dropped to $15.99 so I ordered them again. Yes I did and I will be returning the more expensive one. Okay. Yeah so $15.99 definitely a must cop. The next item is a dress which I scored from ASOS. ASOS does their wiggle dresses. They have it in the straight side and the plus side. And I really like the fit of the, or the concept of these dresses. They tend to have like, you know, looser, blousy arms and a more fitted skirt. This one happens to have a slit in the front. And it was a nice score because I think it was about 30 bucks. It also features a deep back, which is always a plus. And um, I'll definitely link it down below if it's still available. Okay, the next item, I have been eyeing this item since springtime. And I picked it up from this, I, I got it on sale from Fashion to Figure. Um, again, these items are sale items, so I'm not sure if they're still available online. But what I will do is even if they're not available, I will link similar items down below for you guys. Um, so I picked up this like um, trench duster type thing. It has like a waterfall sort of action going on. It has a mandarin neck, which is awesome. I love mandarin um, style necks. Um, it also has like the wind flap. I think that's what it's called. I can't remember. Um, also has it in the back. 
and yeah the deal on it was like too good so i had to cop it thank you fashion to Vega. the next item clothing item i got a denim jacket i love the paint splashes on it i plan on adding buttons to it i'm not gonna do patches because i don't want to commit that much to the trend but definitely patches and um pins and things like that that whole customized ish style is definitely a trend to watch out for for fall and by the way i also picked this up in a size extra large i kind of almost wish i got it in a 2x in my opinion it definitely ran small because i am a large or extra large in old navy things and this extra large that i got was didn't fit me as loose as i would have liked around the arms so if you have arms definitely want to consider that when if you're picking this up I just love it. I love the color combination. I love the fact that it's not a standard um, um, moto, um, not a standard denim jacket because it has like these pockets on the side. I think it's called like the boyfriend jacket or something like that. Very reminiscent of the 80s and I'm here for it. Now if you're following me on Snapchat, you know that I made three big orders, H&M, Boohoo, and Eloquy, and I only kept three things. So the first out of the three th things that I kept is um, this swim top. So I kept, I already got this um, swim top originally in a larger size, and it was too big, so I picked it up this time at a size 20. I'm definitely not a size 20 up top, um, but these, to me run kind of small. My chest, I wear a 38 double D, probably a 40 now. I wear a 40, but I just don't want to agree. Um, so I wear, a, let's just say a 40 double D and these size 20 tops fit great. Um, and these were on sale for about $14.99. And if you have big boobs, you already know the struggle when it comes to finding swimwear that's affordable and holds. So I will definitely link that below if, if it's still there. The next item I picked up is this mesh skirt from Eloquii. So it was part of their little cover-up swim collection that they came up with. I think I got this for $17.99. Um, I picked this up in a size 14. The issue I have with this is around the waist area. Um, so if you don't, like if you are fuller around the waist, then this is definitely a plus for you. For me, it just creates like there's just extra fabric right here. And I have a sewing machine, so I can definitely tailor this. But I just thought you should know. It's definitely a great piece and I plan to pair this wear this in the fall um, show a little peekaboo action like some high waist briefs or a longer shirt tunic style shirt um, I'll definitely have this on the blog and the last item is this duster kimono top type top from boohoo I picked this up in a size 18 and um, it fits really great. I have just been obsessing over these type of like kimonos, but they're like jackets, dusters, whatever you want to call them. And this one is like a black marbly print. There are hints of lavender in this print. And I got this, it's great again to throw on over some neutrals, some basics, and, get, uh, and you look instantly like you tried. Anyway guys, that is it for this haul. Um, if you enjoyed this vi video or this haul, definitely hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already following me, all my social media links will be in the description bar below. Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, the works. Make sure you check them out. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, stay blessed.